Hey everyone, it's Eileen with KidFunIdeas.com and I have a quick and simple paint project for you today. Today we're making little porcupines and they're little painted porcupines and all we're using is thinned out paint and a straw to make these um, different tendrils that come out of the porcupine. Now you can find this craft with, decorate, uh, with um, directions and templates um, on KidFunIdeas.com under the spring project section and you can download that and you'll have the porcupine face ready for you to go. But hang on to the end because I'll show you if you have no printer um, how you can still make a paint project like this uh, just doing some simple um, little simple tweaks. So grab your stuff and I'll meet you right back here. Okay so we're back and I have my template that I printed out off the website. Now if you want to draw your own porcupine face go for it. Um, if you can't, um, you don't want to do that, then hang on to the end and I'll show you how to do um, a simple one using a little face that you can draw easily and we'll get started with that. So um, get a straw. I'm using a paper straw and I like to squish the end of it so that more force comes out this narrow uh, squished area. And you're going to put paint and it can be just um, regular craft paint. I'm using this paint here because I have it in my cabinet. And I added a little dot to a small container and some water till it was thinned out and I just stirred it up with a toothpick. Now if you don't have any craft paint, you could use watercolor or you could use um, food coloring. Food coloring works great for this project because it's nice and dark and you can see where the um, tendrils go. And the way you work it is you dip your the smooshed end of your straw into the paint and then that'll pick up enough of the paint to drop on your picture like that. And then you just blow and till all of the uh, porcupine is filled in how you want it to be. Oh, I got some on your poor face. And I filled mine in and it looks like that. And I think you look super cute. Um, just keep going around the, the edges of the uh, porcupine's face until it's all filled in how you want it to be. Now, if you want to do a crazy hair picture, you can print out uh, the crazy hair template like this and you just do the same thing blowing paint around and this is what the, um, the food coloring looks like let me do one for you and you can see what that looks like just a drop of food coloring and it's nice and dark and it, <laughs> it looks pretty silly and food coloring um, is easy to find in the cabinet um, now if you want to do uh, something that's not a, one of the faces or the porcupine you could grab a plain piece of white paper and then just drop, um, I'm using this old syringe from a medicine thing, and you just drop a glob of it on your paper like that and take your straw and blow right into the center. And you'll end up with a, a strange little shape like that. Once you have your strange shapes like that and they've dried out, you can turn them into silly monsters like this. I turn mine into dancing silly monsters, waving hello. I think it's really cute. All right, so there you have it. You have three different ways to have fun using paint and a straw. Well, I hope you had a fun time, and I will join you next time with another fun craft. Bye for now.